earth uh, when they they won the league. And I think at the end of the day, you know, the the speaker uh, realizes it was a, a light-hearted approach to supporting. Uh, my team who are uh, Scotland's, mm -hmm. Scotland's women who are playing tonight uh, and the first major championship that any Scotland team, women or men, have played in for nearly 20 years. So we've been talking a lot about gender pay in the programme. I mean, Wimbledon have equaled up the prizes, but can you ever see a woman footballer earning what a Wayne Rooney does or a woman golfer earning what Rory McIlroy does? I certainly hope so, and I mean that point. The point that you make about that is, is very pertinent because you've got, um, you know, Steph Houghton. I think the the one of England's top players, or certainly the highest paid, earns about sixty five thousand a year. It's still a lot of money, but Wayne Rooney earns three hundred thousand pounds a day. You know, it's an incredible amount of money. But we we have to be pushing harder. There's a great commercial opportunity. There's a great media opportunity to invest in women's sport. And I think what we need to see is, is more uh, equality in sport, the pay gap being closed, but also so that young women and girls growing up have the opportunity to, to see uh, women playing on a global stage, uh, you know, like they will tonight, England playing Scotland. And, you know, in Scotland, we've got uh, the, the number of women and girls playing football has doubled uh, in the last six years. And that's fantastic news and testament to, you know, I'm sure what will be a fantastic evening uh, tonight of, of time. Talent. And of course, the other big uh, event in women's sport this week, the uh, Women's Cricket World Cup. England have made the final on Sunday. It's going to be at a sellout at Lords. I mean, does it frustrate you that women's sport doesn't always get the media coverage it should do? Yes, it does. And, and congratulations to England's women uh, cricketers. That is a fantastic result. I, um, I have to say, I am not a, a huge follower of cricket. I enjoy playing it more than I enjoy watching it. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think it, it really is a frustration because, you know, what we've seen with the coverage of things like, you know, the Paralympics, um, coverage of, you know, tonight that we're going to see, um, you know, women's football covered. We've got, you know, the AFL in Australia has uh, started a, a women's league and it's overtaken men's soccer, as it's called there, uh, already. I mean, it, there's clearly a huge opportunity for more coverage um, and more opportunities to see women playing uh, at the top level. And, and the more coverage it gets, the more money it can generate and the more people can take part at a grassroots level. And I think that that's good for everybody. Because you used to play with uh, a couple of the women who are playing tonight for Scotland. I mean, do they express their frustration to you in terms of things like sponsorship? It's just not there as it is in the, in the extent that the men's game is, is it? Yeah, absolutely. So I uh, I played uh, alongside Leanne Ross, one of Scotland's midfielders at the University of Stirling, and against Gemma Fay, who is uh, the Scotland captain, uh, who played for Edinburgh University at the time. They were always our, our big rivals. And both of them have gone on uh, to, you know, have incredible careers in football. You know, Julie Fleeting was a big hero of mine growing up. She, I think, got 116 caps for, for Scotland. But these, you know, these women have, wor have, have to work full time. It's kind of like it was back back in the, in the day for like men's rugby, you know, uh, the, the, the rugby players had full-time jobs and then they went and played at the same time. I mean, we need to move on from that. We need, um, you know, women in all sports to be able to, if they're at the top level, to be able to be supported appropriately, to get the right funding, to get the right coverage uh, so that we can, we can have, you know, close that gender pay gap and just, you know, get to enjoy as a, a range of sports and a range of people playing sports. And what's your forecast for tonight? Well, I predicted a draw actually earlier. I predicted a 2-2 draw, but obviously, you know, I'm desperate to see Scotland win. But regardless of whether or not uh, they win, it's an incredible achievement to get there. And I, I know the Lionesses will put on a good show there. All, you know, England have an incredibly strong team and uh, I'm sure it'll be a fantastic game uh, and we'll all enjoy it and be tuning in. Well, there we go. Good luck to both teams. I'm looking very